What's up peeps and welcome back to Surreal Plays. I will be playing a late, uh, game later on, but at the moment I'm just enjoying being outside in the lovely sun. I am sitting in the shade, but uh, anyway. Um, so I, today I just want to talk about some stuff that's been on my mind lately. I mean, something that's always on my mind. and uh, It's uh, a subject, it's quite a touchy subject, but uh, oh, nearly dropped my phone. I just wanted to put my kind of input into it. It's not an easy one to deal with, but it is something that a lot of people are suffering with every day of their lives. Um, not just kids, but adults as well. And I think it's uh, important to address the subject of bullying. Um, I mean, while I was at school, you know, of course, everybody gets bullied. People do try to make you feel down and make you feel sad about yourself or your life and uh, the main thing about bullies is they try to bring you down and uh, I think that's really sad and I mean it's important to remember that these bullies weren't always bullies they might have become bullies by certain things that have happened in their life but I have been looking around on the internet for a long time on YouTube videos and everything else and I don't think this subject is um, being covered widely enough. Of course, uh, being a small YouTuber, I know that not a lot of people are going to get to watch my video, but I just want to kind of um, help out people that are going through this really stressful time. And it might be just a few weeks or days or hours or minutes or seconds that uh, people are being bullied. It might be years. And of course, the more it happens, the worse that person will feel about themselves and it will start to lead to personality issues and um, general problems in life. Uh, but what I wanted to try to, I, I don't know, I, I just need to kind of um, put my take on it out there as well. I mean, while I was at school, I always used to stick up for people that got bullied because um, since a young age, I've always seen that it's wrong what they're doing and regardless of the reasons they're doing it I just think that it makes you look like such an ugly person to be bullying someone even in a minimal way I mean now that social media is around um, when I was a kid we didn't have Facebook we didn't even have phones and uh, I think it's become worse now because it comes from all directions um, of course there is domestic abuse that's kind of a different subject but it's all bullying at the end of the day even uh, social media, you know, comments put on Facebook, I come across it every day and it really does sadden me that people think that they're achieving something by saying nasty things to other people, being mean. And I just would like, I don't know, we can't do much about it right now, but I think um, if YouTubers, especially the big YouTubers out there, people who everyone looks up to, kids look up to and um, respect and I don't know, uh, as I said, it's a touchy subject and it's difficult for me to talk about because my, you know, I'm going through this, not myself, but um, with my loved ones and I can, I've seen what sort of impact it has and it's not just impact on that person who's being bullied, but it is their whole family as well. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, um, you know, privacy concerns, but a message to the people bullying, look in the mirror, you know, see yourself as that person you're being around these vulnerable people. Um, imagine yourself being the person who's enduring your bullying, whether it's uh, just over the screen, the keyboard behind your, behind your screen on Facebook. I mean, saying nasty things and being mean making people feel like they're not good enough, whatever it is, whatever type of bullying you're doing, it's all classed as bullying. It's, um, of course, racism again, kind of comes into this subject as well. But remember that all over the world, this is an issue. It's not just in one country or a certain type of person that does it. Any color, any race, any background, you know, it comes from all over the place. And that's why it's so overwhelming. Apparently 76% of kids in schools have witnessed bullying at one point or another 
and when you're a child your brain is not properly developed and it's where it gets dangerous because seeing a lot of bullying kind of makes it normal in a sense um, if you can call it normal but it kind of makes it look like it's acceptable where really it's very unacceptable and just look at yourself in the mirror when you decide to be mean to someone or make a comment that you don't really have to sometimes it is better to keep your mouth shut if you're not going to say anything nice and you need to think about how that person feels when you say it maybe they're being bullied by other people as well and it can have an, a really serious impact to the point people are self-harming and people are committing suicide taking their lives over this so it's a very serious subject um, you may feel like you don't care but what do you really get out of doing it I think you'd get a lot more rewarded for being a nice person being helpful to people being polite and just keeping your opinions to yourself sometimes and imagining other people judging you the way you're judging other people is really hurtful and it should never be undermined or um, minimized and to the people that are being bullied I mean we've all been through it it's not just you you're not alone and people say one of the first things they say is talk to someone about it of course that's good advice but if you can't talk to somebody about it if your closest people may be the ones bullying you or not supporting you and just telling you to get on with it um, I think you need to remember one thing that we are all alone and even if we have all the support the family which is great if you do but if you don't just think about strengthening your own mind and strengthening yourself against these bullies I mean one of the other bits of advice that I always hear is ignore the bullies now to a certain extent that works but a lot of the time or maybe some of the time I mean I'm no expert I'm not a psychiatrist a psychologist I'm not a counsellor I'm not a doctor I don't work with this sort of stuff but I've seen it happen to too many people and it's really sad um, but you have to find a way of pulling yourself through it and to try to increase your own confidence um, and the way you feel about yourself the way bullies feel about you is not a reflection of who you are always remember that um, and bullies reasons for bullying are usually because they don't feel like they're good enough they feel like they're inadequate they've got problems at home they've got problems in their own minds and they want to make other people feel that way now unfortunately the bullies kind of um, they're manip manipulative people a lot of the time and they're very strong in what they do otherwise you know maybe that wouldn't even surface in their personality or in their character in the first place but just remember that being kind is more beneficial for yourself and for everyone else I mean it's like if you smile at someone they smile back at you you feel a whole lot better if you go out and have an argument with somebody it could ruin your whole day and that's how much impact seemingly small issues can have on everybody now some people are stronger some people are weaker but equally we're all human beings and we all have that underlying psychological uh, impact of what other people say to us the way people see us I mean we all want to be seen as you know somebody who's a good person and that's where the bullies don't really care and they get other people to gang up on you as well to make their job easier and in reality they are too scared to do it all by themselves and that's another reason why they need a team of people to do it with them and that's when bullying becomes a little bit more unbearable because it's more than one person doing it and uh, you end up feeling very lonely indeed um, I think going out and finding hobbies and finding people who enjoy the same hobbies as you um, who want to take part and be your friend I mean we all need friends but you can be your best friend by supporting yourself and rising above the bullies and it's easier said than done but it is something you have to work on it's hard work but 
you can come up on top eventually. And, you know, when you are the successful person that you aim to be and you achieve all your goals and you manage to be the person you're happy to look at in the mirror. But the point is, I'm not talking physically. I'm talking more mentally and emotionally. And just remember, it's not all about what you wear or how you look. And, you know, it doesn't matter what people think of you as long as you're happy with yourself. And if you're not happy with yourself, you need to work on why and try to pick up some helpful tips from other people who are, you know, in a position where they can um, avoid getting overwhelmed by bullying. I mean, I'm always here for everybody. If you ever want to message me, um, I'll put my email address down below in, the, uh, in a link. I mean, I'd like to say that I'm everybody's friend and if people need some help or guidance or advice, I'm always here. But ultimately, it is you alone that needs to deal with all this and don't um, be beaten by the bullies. I mean, I don't know what else I can say because it is really difficult and I understand that anybody in this situation will be feeling very lonely and maybe you've lost hope, but please don't lose hope. There's always hope. Your life could change tomorrow. You just don't know what's in the future. And if you're a young person, your teenage years are the most difficult years in your whole life. But it does get better. It really does. So please just do ignore the bullies. You know, but stick up for yourself. Keep yourself safe. Protect yourself. Stay with your friends, you know, stay around people you feel safe around. Be, make friends with people that are on your level, that enjoy the things you enjoy. Because we all have to do that, whether we're bullied or not. You know, we all have to make friends with people who are like-minded and they don't mind what you wear. We're all different. I mean, we can't all be dressed the same. We can't all behave the same. We can't all look the same. And the last thing I want to say is that um, with the way... Uh, media is nowadays and actually for a long time you know you've got all the uh, top models up there and the top celebrities who have uh, cosmetic surgery to look the way they do and most of these people were bullied as well so if they can succeed and get to where they are with the distraction of bullying in the background of what they really want to achieve you need to work on what you want in life and just, you know, raise yourself up. Raise yourself up with your confidence as well. It's not all about what's in the mirror. And if there's something you don't like, then you're the only person who can change that. And it might not be a quick fix. It might be slow steps, baby steps. But that's the way everything in life is with jobs, you know, friends, your home, whatever it is, your pets. You need to take time, take baby steps and you will get there one day. You will, I promise. So please don't let these people get you down. It's not worth it. They're not worth it. And your life is worth so much more than they are. And it always will be. Anyway, sorry about the depressing subject today, but I really needed to get that out there. It is something very close to my heart. And as I said, I've always been, ever since I can remember at the age of three, four, you know, since my memory could uh, can remember that far back, I've always been somebody who sticks up for people who are being bullied. And it's happened to me as well. And, you know, I've managed to rise above it. And the bullies eventually do frizzle out. And I really hope that everybody in the world can, you know, come together and give each other the helping hand and the advice that people feel they need. And be kind. Just be kind. It doesn't cost anything. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on my next, my game video soon. Peace out.